on the one hand, I understand the idea of, oh, well, if you're going to put nukes on countries that border us, then we're going to put nukes uh, in our country. But to me, this feels like just an expansion. All right. Got another thing to look over here from Reuters. Uh, Belarus referendum approves proposal to renounce the non uh, its non-nuclear status. February 27th, so today, uh, a referendum in Belarus on Sunday approved a new constitution ditching the country's non-nuclear status at a time when the former Soviet Republic has become a launch pad for Russian troops invading Ukraine, Russian news agency said. The agencies cited the Belarus Central Elections Commission as saying 65.2% of those who took part voted in favor. The results came as little surprise, given the tightly controlled rule of President Alexander uh, Lukashenko. The new constitution could see nuclear weapons on Belarusian soil for the first time since the country gave them up after the fall of the Soviet Union. In... It raises the stakes at a time when Lukash... Okay, this is very distracting. I don't hate this song, but I also hate this song. It raises the stakes at a time when Lukashenko had fallen behind Russian pl uh, President Vladimir Putin's military assault on Ukraine after either playing an intermediary role between the two neighbors. The West has already said it will not recognize the results of the referendum, which is taking place on the background of a sweeping crackdown on domestic opponents of the government. According to human rights activists on Sunday, there were more than a thousand political prisoners in Belarus. The referendum sparked anti-war protests in several cities. At least 290 people were detained. Protests had largely died down in Belarus after Lukashenko launched a violent crackdown on dissidents against his 28-year-long uh, rule. Mass protests had erupted in 2020 following a disputed election that opponents say Lukashenko rigged. On Sunday, speaking at a polling station, Lukashenko said he could ask Russia to return nuclear weapons to Belarus. He said, if you, the West, transfer nuclear weapons to Poland or Lithuania to our borders, then I will turn to Putin to return nuclear weapons that I gave away without any conditions. Lukashenko turned to Russia after 2020 protests, securing loans that offset the effect of Western sanctions. His rival in the 2020 vote exiled uh, opposition leader. I cannot pronounce that. I am. I am so sorry. Svetlana. I. I can't. I can't. I'm. I feel very terrible for not being able to pronounce that. Sikhan Oskaya? Sikhan Oskaya? Uh, had called on the Belarusians to use the vote to protest against the invasion. In videos and... In videos and photos posted on social media, people gathered at polling stations in Minsk and other cities to protest. Said there's little we could do now with all this terror and horror in which we live, but I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't try to do something, said Elena, who was 45. She declined to provide any more personal information for security reasons. The new constitution would give powers to all Belarusian People's Assembly, created by Lukashenko and populated by party loyalists, local councils, and officials and activists of pro-government organizations. It would also give lifetime immunity from prosecution to the president once he left office. Uh, this one always, this one always reeks to me. Whenever I see that, if you think you need lifetime immunity from something before you leave a position, it reads to me like you know that for the fucking fact you're doing something wrong. Uh, so that's a thing. Belarusian nukes. On the one hand, I understand the idea of, oh, well, if you're going to put nukes on countries that border us, then we're going to put nukes uh, in our country. But to me, this feels like just an expansion. This feels like just an expansion of Russia's nuclear arsenal geographically. Geographically. That's what it feels like. Anyways, uh, that's, that's all that update is. It's very short. Incidental video tagline here.